Hey guys, it's Camuel. Today I'm going to be making a picture for my dot journal. Um, I'll be using acrylic paints and um, be painting uh, little uh, hummingbirds. Um, so yeah, um, if you want, you can sit down and um, create with me today. <laughs> Right now, I am mixing up my paints, and honestly, I find this very satisfying and mesmerizing. Um, I don't know, just seeing all the paint mix up is just pretty, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but yeah, uh, these colors I picked because of the hummingbirds, that's what I'm going off of. Um, I looked up what they looked like just to see, make sure that I know exactly what I'm <laughs> doing. Because <laughs> I've never really done hummingbirds before, but some of them were really, um, I really liked a lot of them. <laughs> oh, love it, it's so cute. I don't know. It was just um, a lot of fun going around and finding the pictures that I wanted um, for the uh, hummingbirds. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I chose hummingbirds because that is going to be my theme for this um, month of uh, June. I am looking forward to this theme. Um, it, I, it, it was, I was inspired to do this theme um, because of... Um, I, I'm at my grandparents' house right now, and um, my grandmother has a, a hummingbird feeder in her on her back porch, and like at least like sitting in the mornings, like it's just so <laughs> cute to see those little hummingbirds um, like go up to the feeder. And honestly, they si sound a little scary. <laughs> Um, if you've ever heard a hummingbird before, um, if you've never heard one, it sounds kind of like a bee. <laughs> it's just a really big bee, but honestly, they are just so adorable and, I don't know, seeing them. Um, I've never seen a hummingbird perched before, um, like at least in real life. I mean, I, I'm, I had to, uh, when I looked at pictures, I found perched ones, but um, I'd never seen um, a, a, a like a perching hummingbird in real life and honestly they're just they're just so cute and I don't know I just had to make it a part of my theme <laughs> for this month um, but yeah um, I just thought that it'd be kind of neat to um, do acrylics with this um, this month um, just because uh, I like doing little inserts like having little extra pages in my dot journal and uh, last month i did some flowers uh, watercolor flowers so i decided that um i wanted to do um some acrylic hummingbirds this time i don't know it, it was a lot of it, it's a lot of fun doing this and right now i'm just kind of sketching out a little bit of what i want to do um like make sure that i have all the um different poses and uh, that I that the birds are gonna be in <laughs> I honestly have never really drawn very many birds um, this is the first time actually drawing birds that I was actually happy with because a lot of the time I'm just not really acquainted with drawing but like um, I don't know it's it's been me trying to do this um, but yeah right now I'm just uh, getting uh, using a needle bowl eraser and I decided that I needed a brown color <laughs> so you can hear my struggle here I feel like I need a lot more than I actually do, you know? Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay. I have no clue what I'm doing. 
So I was inspired to make this video also because um, I was I actually painted a, a bird um, right before this video. Um, I, I started filming um, and it actually looks a lot like the first bird that I did and I'm glad that I did it the first bird that was so similar to the uh, first one I actually did um, because it helped a lot with me actually being able to make it look the way I wanted it to. So this day, um, I was struggling a lot with the camera and it totally died on me. <laughs> um, so I just decided to take a break and get started the next day. So yeah, <laughs> um, I just got up in the morning and just went and got myself some coffee and started the day off <laughs> better. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I needed to completely reopen it and honestly those canis- like the, the things holding the paint, they they weren't nice to me. I, I had to- it took a long time to open them but <laughs> it didn't really show. Um, they were just kind of difficult, you know. Um, but yeah, I finally got started on my second bird. Yay! Um, honestly, I would say that this one's probably one of my favorites out of all of them. They, it was, it just turned out so cute. Um, actually, while I was painting this bird, uh, my cousin, he came up and he was, um, talking to me and we had a cute conversation just uh, talking about it and he said that he liked what I was doing and I don't know if it's sweet. Yeah, it's got some brown dots all over. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some brown. It's just, the, the brown is scary to me. Why? Because it's just so dark and it's hard to get dark to go away. So like, I'm always scared to grab the brown. Um, so y'all wanna make a monkey instead of a bird? Cause I like monkeys. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be using a lot of brown <laughs> and a lot of um, this color up there on the like kind of feather feathers a little. Yeah. A little like oh, oh, tanish. Yeah. You might not want to get that on the blanket no, on your on your thing. That's grandma's. I better take it off. Alright, here we go. Oh no! <gasps> what? <gasps> Sorry, hold on. Look at that. Oh! So yeah, we got a little smudge there. It was honestly totally fine just because I was able to fix it uh, best I could. Um, it, it didn't really bother me that, um, all that much um, and I was f able to fix most of it with the little twig it was sitting on um, but yeah um, anyway I was struggling with this wing a lot <laughs> um, I was trying and trying and trying to get this these feathers to work um, <laughs> so I just had to like kind of uh, leave it to dry for a bit and just go back and I don't know it took a while <laughs> um, To be able to get that to work, but I don't know um, Yeah, it's just working on working on the head honestly my favorite part of doing these birds um, Is the like red part? <laughs> it's just so satisfying to see the red 
<laughs> come in is just I don't know I really liked doing it and I switched between the dark red and the light red a lot of the time and I would add in some brown every now and then and just depending on which bird I was doing sometimes I'd add green um, but I don't know I found the um, I don't know a little neck <laughs> um, to be just so fun and so cute to do <laughs> When I was painting these birds, I kind of wanted them to look a little realistic, but in all honesty, um, I wanted some bit of, like, my personality into it, too. Like, I felt like they were kind of, like, flat and plain. I don't know. Um, so I added these little cute little highlights, and I, I think they turned out okay. I was nervous about them at first because I, I wasn't sure if they'd actually make the feathers look shiny. But when I added them, I was like, okay, I like, I think this is okay. I think this turned out okay. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I don't know. I finally finished the um, second bird and moving on to the third. I think this third one is a female bird, possibly. I don't really know, um, but I'd assume it is because it's like darker colors. I don't. I don't know anything about <laughs> this though, so I'm just totally guessing I might be wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I, these birds, in all honesty, I think the wings were the most difficult <laughs> overall. Um, but I think I did okay for the little knowledge I knew about acrylics um, to be able to get the wings to look right. I ha actually have a funny story about these the, uh, the, before I did this uh, the I started painting these birds um, when I was coming up with doing this because I I, I didn't know that I was gonna do this until earlier that day um, when I started filming um, but like the reason why I did it was because my grandmother uh, did something with like we we all uh, called all the cousins outside and um, we all sat down and started um, doing stuff with acrylic paint <laughs> um, and I don't know we just kind of hung outside and did all that um, outside and it was a lot of fun um, my cousins are younger and that's the reason why we were outside um, but I don't know that's where I came up with the idea of oh I'd like to do hummingbirds um, for my theme uh, for my dot journal this next month um, I'm honestly really excited about this theme but um, while we were outside um, my sister turns to me and she like looks me in the eye and she says do, do you hear that and I didn't know what she was talking about until it was upon us the rain had come like you could hear it from a distance and oh my goodness like as soon as it started it just downpoured immediately <laughs> um but yeah <laughs> i just kind of put my painting like <laughs> underneath and just like ran <laughs> inside as quick as possible just because i didn't want it to get ruined <laughs> um but yeah i might be able to show that um, painting another time. <laughs> uh, it didn't get ruined, but I was afraid it would. It would. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it turned out uh, okay. <laughs> I was saying earlier how difficult the wings are um, overall about like overall how it's just the wings are the most difficult <laughs> um, this one this one in the top right corner I didn't like <laughs> I was struggling with it um, it had I don't know in my opinion chunky wings and it seemed all proportioned and I wasn't sure about it um, so I 
and my sister was there and I turned to her and I asked her how she felt about it and she actually got it mixed up with another bird, <laughs> as you can see right here. <laughs> I feel bad for him. I need to hang up about that one. No, that one. Oh. Sorry. This one, I didn't use my friends. Oh. I feel it looks fine. Really? Yeah. You think his, his proportions are off? Yep. Yeah. Got a big head. <laughs> well, I mean, I tried to get the proportions right on the one that I didn't use a reference for, and I feel like I did an okay job for not using a reference, but I do agree with Emily that it does have a pretty big head. <laughs> but yeah, um... I don't know. It is just a lot of fun to do all these birds. Um, this top one was kind of difficult just because of the top proportions and like being able to get all the colors to mix right was weird. I don't know. Um, just because I couldn't find any top views of the bird. Um, but yeah, I move on to my last bird and um, I don't know. Uh, this one I. Uh, didn't use a reference for either um so yeah I think it turned out pretty good <laughs> for not using a reference and then I fill it in with my black pen um and I finish out all the highlights and all I have left is to erase all the pencil marks That is it for this video. Um, I, I am pretty happy with how the little birds turned out. Um, they are just so cute and tiny and I don't know, I just love them all. I think that they all have a sweet little personality, each of them, and I don't know. I think this was a really fun thing to do. Um, I don't know. I hope that you enjoyed my video and um, you have a good rest of your day. <laughs>